And if I lift the bolt like that, it won't pull back very well because one of the lugs must be touching inside the action and it does tend to jam. Yeah, that was a bit weird, that one. I don't know whether the microphone will pick it up, but I got a slight click off the trigger. You can see this is a uh, inner blade safety trigger. I actually got a click off the trigger as I depressed it through the first stage, which kind of made me twitch a little bit. And when it did then fire, you probably saw a slight jump in me. just struck a little out again I've lifted the bolt and you can see until I release pressure it won't draw backwards and that time it's taken nothing off the mag that time it's taken nothing off the mag again nothing off the mags fully inserted again nothing Yeah, there are rounds in the mag. It's taken one that time. Surprisingly not again, I've lifted up, click against that and it won't come back until I release that pressure, let the bolt tip drop four or five millimeters and then it will draw back. It's picked up around that time. Yeah, nice little group. Looks like a, a three shot, probably about an inch. I think that's loaded without again. It has. Now, I think it's because the round on the right column is not picking up. I'm just going to flick it out manually. Let's test that because the next one will come off the left side. That's joined it. Again, lift up high. You need to take your pressure off the bolt to let it unlock to come back. Slightly annoying. Right, this one's off the left side. Let's see if it feeds. Yes, it does. Looks like another sub-inch group which is fine. I'm not saying thrilled by that. I'm just going to record my velocity string. And I didn't record the velocities off the previous 53 grain Federal. And it did shoot quite a good group with those, so I'm going to just shoot three more. It's only a fairly uh, brief test on this gun. To be fair, if the fundamentals of accuracy are there, that's all we can ask from it. Because I think anybody who buys this is probably going to buy at least two, if not more types of ammunition. And in fairness, these have all shot fine. So there's no fundamental problem with the barrel. I did actually bore scope the barrel yesterday after cleaning the rifle. Uh, and it appears to be very, very smooth and slick finish. So I'm not surprised the gun is shooting okay. Just going to add a little bit of elevation on this group, camera's down on target. And that will be off the right side, and guess what? It's not feeding off the right side of the magazine. That's coming all the way back, all the way forwards, and it's just not feeding. Hey look, right side of the mag. Bet you, if I pop that one out, left side of the mag, 
and that's gone in. Disturb your firing sequence. Annoying. That's pretty easy to live with it. But I definitely want to spend more time seeing if that magazine's going to wear in. The thing is, if you go into a shop and buy a rifle, you know, 30, 40 pounds a box for ammunition sometimes, how many rounds do you want to shoot before you know your rifle's going to work and before you take it out hunting, varminting, whatever, and get a bit annoyed that you're missing those follow-up shots? Or in fact, uh, it'll be the primary shot in terms of the, um, the right one off the top of the magazine. So, perhaps a little bit of fine tuning there from Mossberg. I'm just wondering if the effective pillar length at which the, the magazine is held underneath the bolt might just need to lift ever so slightly. This is more of a workshop feature, but hmm. I would have thought it should have fed, but anyway, let's call it a day for now. We've got some of the fundamentals done.